Chris with Impacts Beverages, and I'm at Lock Lee with the owner Neil. Neil, this is your family farm. That's correct. Can you give us a little bit of history of of the farm and and how you use it to make your wonderful whiskey? Yeah, no, cool, Chris. Thanks for coming to visit us today. Um, yeah, we're here at Lock Lee. Um, we've been here since 2006. Um, when we moved here, originally as a was a cow farm, we had, we had beef cattle here, um, and obviously more recently we moved into growing barley and uh, having a distillery. Um, but before we mention any of that, um, Lockley has a, a, a very good history with uh, the Scottish poet Robert Burns having lived here um, from 1777 to 1784 in, in that house. And uh, most importantly for Lockley, the soil that we grow our barley with all around the farm is the soil that Burns himself will have ploughed and toiled over all those 100, 250 years ago. So it's quite nice to have that history. But at Lockley, we're all about the barley and the distil distillery and, uh, and and producing really, really good quality whiskey. That, that's amazing. And I understand you've just done the harvest. That's great. And on some of the fields, after you've done a harvest, you do a replant to help cultivate, to help keep the fields yeah. healthy. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about um, that? Yeah, so uh, we, 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 we grow uh, spring barley, which is a variety called Laureate. Uh, we sow it in March and we harvest it uh, late August, early September. So last week we completed harvest. Um, and then through the winter, um, from September back around to, to sort of February, March, um, the fields are in stubble um, after, after the barley's cut. And uh, to, we get a lot of rain here uh, through the winter, so we want to keep that soil stable and uh, keep it, keep it ni nice, light and aerated. So we grow a cover crop, which is mustard and radish, oh, wow. um, to, to, to help, just help look after and love the soil because it's the soil that makes the barley that makes the whiskey it's the little differences right that make that's the difference between good and great yeah yeah, yeah. always try to be better all right thanks that's neil good. that's cool that's cool all right so joshua you've been here for a full day what did you mm. what did you think of lochley just done it it's funny you said we don't have a visitor center meanwhile you're, you've set up an absolutely beautiful distillery um, getting to go into your warehouses and smell from the cask and smell the different components of our barley has been great. And then you taste the final product. You see how it comes together in a really balanced and, and um, thoughtful way. It's, it's been remarkable. Great. I appreciate that. Um, John's not here, so I'll take all the credit for the... the You've the, done a great job. For, yeah, the cask makeup. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really glad, especially with our barley, you said that because that is our... That's our baby. That's our core product for the next um, until we get those age statements out there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, been been great to share it with the guys and tell them more about the, the story. Yeah. Oh, if, if that's your core product, you're gonna do well real fast. Yeah. People will be happy. Yeah. Don't speak too loud. My boss is outside. You need to set expectations. <laughs> uh, no, that no, it's been it's been great. And actually, I know we've spoke before online, but there's something just totally different about getting people here immersed in it yes. face to face 
um, it's great that we can now do these things again, finally. Indeed. And bringing the entire team out here, now they're all, they will be able to go out into the world saying, I've been at the distillery. I've seen how it's made. I've tasted it there. It becomes a different proposition. Yeah. 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 Cool. One of the very few groups to yeah, have been right. here as well, which is nice. <laughs> uh, no, it's great. Yeah. You're welcome anytime. Cheers. Appreciate that. Beverages. I'm here with Jen McGeer. Hi there. And um, I just wanted to ask her a couple of questions about the tasting room we're in because she has a background in interior design and this is her brilliance. So Jen, can you take us through a little bit about behind the inspiration of the tasting room and the color of the bottles and Thanks. everything that you've done for this wonderful distillery? So for the tasting room, I wanted everything to be as natural as possible because as a brand, that's what's important to us. So taking, that's the first thing I did in here is actually was put the wood on the ceiling and um, then we looked at colors. I wanted to incorporate the copper and the different tones of the stills. Um, yeah, just be able to have everything, basically when we were putting the carton and the bottles on, that they were, they were speaking to it, so I didn't want it to be overly fancy in here, just nice and clean lines, and uh, we incorporated the chevron from the bottle onto the... Oh wow, I didn't even notice, yeah, that's, that's great. So, and actually, yeah. we have our... Uh, oh, we've got the logo in there as well. Here as well, so there's, yeah, nicely crafted um, space. <laughs> With the colours for Lovely, I had to go for this blue because to me it spoke Scottish sky, it's guys, loch, like that kind of dark, moody kind of colour, but at the same time it suits so well with the colour of the liquid. Um, yeah. And the Harvest Editions? Harvest Editions, so that was warm, summery tones, it was meant to reflect the skies. Green was a first sewing edition that was for um, spring, everything was new, bursting with colour. So yeah, for the, the editions, we've gone for something that's quite different um, to this. Um, yeah, just... And the table, I noticed the table's a nice, odd shape. Yeah, so this is meant to be the shape of um, some barley. Oh wow, yeah. That's it, and then we incorporated the chevron as well. So um, yeah, just a nice little notes throughout. Well that's the greatest thing about a family distillery, right? You can you can add your personal touch to it and take it all the way through from beginning to end. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well today we are at Lock Lee Distillery. John, Jen, David, and the man guy Neil. Hey, Dad. Thank you very much for everything. It was the greatest reception we learned a lot today. You guys producing one of the best whiskies and we proudly will continue selling it in the United States. Thank you. Could I say thank you very much for coming to see us today, spending time with us, learning about Loch Lee. It's been great to meet your team. Really excited about the partnership that we're building. And uh, yeah, let's let's make it a long and lasting one. Thanks, Neil. Yeah. Do you want to say a few words, John? Not really, Neil. <laughs> 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 no, we're just, it's just like, we're having fun, we're making whiskey. It's just, it's a great place to be right now at Loch Lee. And we're just kind of great that we're building partnerships all around the world and looking forward to being successful across the pond. So thanks to the, the team at Impex and looking forward to being there next week. Thanks, John. Thank you. Um, no, just very quickly, I, I think I spoke to, I feel that like we know each other, Sam, even though we, did, we hadn't met in person until last night. Um, the, the fact that you guys, your team are the face of our brand in a, in a market, in a big market, is really important to us. So you coming here and then taking all that back, like you said, taking that knowledge back, knowing what we're about as a brand is, uh, will be invaluable. And I know just from speaking to the guys at lunch that we're in good hands. I'm really excited to meet you guys because Neil and I are here um, at the distillery and we're not out and about often seeing where whiskey goes. So it's just great to meet you and, you know, look forward to the feedback that we get from over in the US. It's great. Keep making great whiskey, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Go Lackley. Thank you. Thank you.